Hello viewers and welcome to another episode of Learn IT with Encarta. Today we are continuing with our Microsoft Word series. One of our followers made a request that we do a tutorial on how to add caption to a picture. Even though his request was not clear and he couldn't explain further, we decided to do this tutorial hoping that it will help answer his question and as well help out others who might also develop interest in the video. So this tutorial is basically on how to use pictures in Microsoft Word. Now, don't forget to subscribe, follow the page, comment, like, share, turn on the notification from YouTube so that you don't miss any of our videos. Now, let's assume this is our Microsoft Word document. We have some text and we want to add a picture to it. How do we get a picture into Microsoft Word? In fact, there are different ways you can do this. Let's assume I have this folder here with this picture say, and I want to use this picture in the document. One of the ways I can get this picture onto the document is to right click on the picture, select copy, come to Microsoft Word, right click and select paste. As well, you can also use the shortcut Control plus V to paste. Okay, this is one way. Another way also is to leave the document open as you can see, open where the picture is. This is the picture I want to do. I want you so I will just click on the picture, drag it, and drop it inside the Microsoft Word. It will appear. All right. Okay. And another thing also is assuming if you have been using computer books, sometimes you open the book, you see that they have talked, you have a picture of the screenshot of a screen, a particular window that was open in the document. How do they achieve that? So let us assume I have. Um, Let's assume I have this interface open, this small black interface open. I want to take a picture of this on the screen and put it in my Microsoft Word document. How do I go about this? Now, this is very simple. There is a special key on the keyboard called print screen. Let's go to our keyboard and see how the key looks like. It is this particular key. On some computers, it is not written full in full like print screen like this. It will be PRTSC. Whichever case, it is the same. You just press this key. So let me go to my keyboard and press that key. Okay, I press it. So when you come to Microsoft Word, either you do the right click and paste, or you do your Control V and paste, and you have the picture on Microsoft Word as you can see. That's the whole screen of the computer. Now, having achieved this, there is also another. Assuming I don't want to use the print screen or I don't know how to use the print screen, we also another method we call the sniping tool. When you click on start and look for snipe, you click sniping tool, it gives you this small interface. You just click on new, then you drag across the specific thing you want to snap. As you can see, I'm clicking and dragging. Okay, this is what I want, so I'll release the mouse. It has kept it in this window. So what I have to do now is to come to file, save as. You see, uh, the, the file type has already been selected as JPEG, which means it is going to be saved as JPEG for me, as a picture for me. So I'll just have to give it a name. So let's say sample image. Let me put it on the desktop. Save. Okay, now I can comfortably close this snapping tool. Now, when I come to my doc, doc, desktop, I should see the sample image somewhere. So I just click on this, drag into my Microsoft Word. As you can see, it is down here. Or in the same vein, in the same vein, you can do the control V as you are used to. So I will come to my doc, desktop, right click, copy, come to my desktop. Uh, my Word document, right click, paste, whichever way you have the picture on your screen. Now, having had the picture on the screen, what are some of the things you can do with the picture? But let me begin by telling you that Microsoft Word is not a picture editing software like Photoshop, uh, uh, Illustrator, and what have you. There is little you can do with pictures here. But among the little you can do with pictures in Microsoft Word is when you insert the picture, you could see some dots around the picture. If you look at the edges, those are the resizing handles. You can hold those and resize the picture to fit the size you want, as you can see I'm doing. 
And please, whenever you are resizing a picture, always resize from the corner. Do not use the middle buttons to resize the picture, as that will distort the, uh, the, the, the orientation of the picture, especially if it's a picture of a human being. It will distort either to make the head longer like mine, or it will make the body wider like my own. Like this, it is not an ideal way to resize the picture. Or uh, this way, this is not an ideal way to resize the picture. Always do it from the corner. So that you can maintain the the the, uh, the the pixels both vertically and horizontally, and then also when you import a picture into Microsoft Word, you could notice that you cannot move it when you click on it to drag it around. You can't do it unless you notice based on the op a version of Office you are using. You could see this button here near the picture. I am using Word 2016, and some other versions you are likely not to see this. But if you see this button, you just click on it. It gives you these options. Or better still, you can right click on the picture. We have this wrap text. You go to it and you can make selections from here. Or you can select the picture, then you come to the top there, top here. We have format. Format, we have wrap text here. Whichever way you can select it. So when you click on this, you have all these options. Now look at the images with some lines and some arrow and some arc on it. The lines represent text and the arc represent the picture. So this is actually showing you how you can lay out the picture alongside the text on it. Now, this one currently is on in line with text. That's what it is doing. Okay, so as I'm moving it within the text, you can see that it is lying in the middle of the text somewhere. Okay. We also have this square. Meaning that as you move it into the text, it is going to be square within the text. Which means the text are going to square around it, as you can see I'm doing here. Okay, we also have tight, which is also, as you can see, as I'm moving, the text are just tightening around it, around the picture. Okay, we also have through which also has its own effect. In fact, you can maneuver through to see which one actually reflects the type you want to, to, you want to use. But whichever way, that is what you can do before you can move the pictures around. I like using in front of text. Okay, now when you select in front of text, you see that the picture is on top of the text. It is on top of the text. So in, if you want the picture to go along, alongside with the picture, with the text, I think the best thing you can do is to either select the, the square, or the tight, whichever way you can have the picture right where you want it to be, something like this. All right, now another thing too is that let me delete this um, and bring back my print screen. So let me open this document again and do my print screen again to bring this back. Okay, so uh, okay. right click, paste. Okay, no, not this. Okay, so let me do my print screen again. Okay, so we'll come to my Microsoft where I click this. Okay, this is what I have. Now, I have this picture on the screen. Now, assuming I don't want all these icons to show, I don't want them to show. I want only this window, the black window that is open to show. What can I do? What you have to do is right click on the picture, you see this prop. You click on that, it will create these lines along the picture. That is the what you use to crop along the picture to take out unwanted parts, the parts you don't want. So I will use this and bring this down. I will use this down, take it up. I'll use this, take it across, use this, bring it here. When I'm done, I'll click outside the picture and what I want remains. And the same way I can move this, so I have to come to my format, wrap text, select my maybe tight, then I can move my picture to wherever I want it to be. Okay, now, now assuming this picture stands here, how can we add a caption to it? A caption is nothing but a text to explain an image. 
But to add a caption to this, you can either double click below the picture, as you see I did, the Kaiser the, the, the has come there. Double click like this. Okay, um, even that is going to pose a problem. So you can type whatever you want to type. Let's see. Editing window or something like this. Okay. Editing window. Okay. So let's assume this is the caption you want to give to the picture. Fine. But I personally prefer using this. You come to insert text box. So you pick one of the text box, type your caption inside so that you can freely move it and position it wherever you want around the picture. You can even design it and put it on the picture itself if you want. All right. You can also format the text box by right click on the edge. You have format shape. So with format shape, you can color the background. So let's say solid fill. I want it to be this green. Okay. And then the line. That is the border. Let's say I want the border to be, let's say, red, as you can see. And you can even increase the thickness of the line by the dash, or is it the, yeah, the width? As, as you see, we are doing, increasing the thickness of the border. Okay. And then also, you can even change the shape. You can add shadows to it, reflection. You can glue the text. You can just format the text whichever way you want to do. And then the text to itself, you can also change the font color using the home button. Let's say I want it to be yellow. You can do that. So this is how you add a caption to a picture. Once you edit the text the way you want it to be, you can position it on the picture. You can put it under. You can put it on the side based on your preference. All right. And then also, when you select the picture, you can still come to the format, and we have all this, what you are seeing here on this menu, are things you can do with the picture. We have corrections to manipulate the colors, you can see. We have the color. We have aesthetic effects. In fact, you can practice with them once you are able to get a picture on the Microsoft Word, and you'll be able to understand what they do. When you open this, you have a whole lot of effects you can add to the picture. As you can see, this one has added a background uh, 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 shadow as you can see this one added a border there are a whole lot of things you can do with the picture all right so this is the little we wanted to show you about how to handle pictures in microsoft word i hope it helps someone out there if the video has benefited you please like and share it to benefit others don't forget to follow our page subscribe comment share and turn on the notification button very important so that you don't miss any of our tutorials. See you in the next series. Thank you.